children in today's session we shall learn gender nouns and past tense from workbook so all of you open page 43 look at these pictures complete varun's family tree with the words in the box here we can see varun's family tree some words are given in the box grandfather sister mother grandmother uncle father aunt brother so look at the picture carefully and choose the correct option from the above box see here varun v a r u n varun in the first picture here the relation of picture is father of varun f a t h e r father next one mother m o t h e r mother next one is aunt so pair aunt to uncle u n c l e uncle a u n t aunt next one number 4 sister s i s t e r sister b r o t h e r brother those are uncle and aunt children next one grandfather g a r a n d grand f a t h e r grandfather sixth one grandmother g r a n d grand m o t h e r mother grandmother those are mother and aunt parents grandfather and grandmother so this is the family tree of varun moving on to next page next one gender nouns write these nouns under the correct headings here some words are given in the box see carefully here under the masculine write only male naming words okay under the feminine write only female naming words under the masculine and feminine write both and male and female naming words okay children before that once have a look nouns gender masculine feminine common and neuter are the four types of gender nouns in english a male member of species is a masculine gender noun for example uncle king hero bull etc a female member of species is a feminine gender noun for example aunt queen heroine cow a common gender noun is used for either or both males and females for example leader student pilot whatever he or she A neuter gender noun refers to a member of a species which is neither a male or nor a female. Inanimate things are neither male nor female, so they are neuter. Example: tree, car, computer, eye, body. sky
children few more examples are gender nouns gender specific noun a noun that refers to someone or something specifically male or female for examples gender specific masculine gender specific feminine not gender specific neutral okay here masculine means male feminine means female neutral means both rooster hen chicken rooster is a male gender hen is a female gender chicken is called neutral man woman doctor okay man is male gender woman is female gender doctor is neutral both he or she doctor we call bull elephant tigress hippopotamus okay these are the examples of gender nouns so coming back to page 44 yes see under the masculine we shall write ox king man sir duck these are all male naming words okay next one feminine princess niece maid girl lady these are all female naming words okay next one masculine and feminine principal friend teacher child student singer these are all male and female naming words principal either lady or gent we shall call principal only friend also boy or girl we shall call friend only next one teacher sir or madam or call teacher child boy or girl call child only next one student boy or girl call student only singer also boy or girl call singer male singer or female singer next one moving on to next page page 45 here write the past tense form of these words okay already we we'll learned past form means completed action and have a look simple past tense regular verbs spelling spelling rules ending in e add d for example live lived stayed stayed here in this words last letter e so that we shall add just d letter only okay next one ending in ovel plus y add ed here see observe children stay green color letters stay a y or green colored letters y is the last letter of the word and y before ovel a is the ovel so that for these type of letters we add ed only stayed play played y last letter is y y before ovel is there a so a is ovel so that we shall add for these words ed next one ending in consonant plus y change y to i and add ed see here in this rule try last letter is y but y before consonant or is consonant in this case we add i e d for these words in the place of y we shall write i e d okay try tried t r i e d tried why because last letter is y y before consonant is there so that we shall add i e d and remove the y next one one syllable single vowel and ending in single consonant double the final consonant and add e d you yes, see children last letter is d consonant consonant before vowel is there last letter in this word consonant consonant before vowel is there so that last letter is add one more letter that means double letter and 
ED also add nodded N O D D E D nodded. One more example rip. Here P letter is consonant or vowel? Consonant. So P before I. I is vowel or consonant? Vowel. So that last letter is repeated P P and add E D also. Ripped. Okay. Next one. Two syllable stress on second syllable and ending in single consonant double the final consonant and add ed. Here see children commit. In this word two syllables are there. Commit. So that we add last letter double letter and add ed also committed. Last letter t consonant consonant before oval i. Okay, so that last letter repeated and add ed also. Next one, prefer. In this word also two syllables are there. Prefer. So that last letter consonant repeated and add ed also. Preferred. So coming back to page 45, write the past tense form of these words. Here children see some words are given. Work. Worked. Here last letter is a consonant K. So we add ED. Okay. Next one Bury. Here last letter of this word Y. In the place of Y add IED. Okay. Buried. Next one Cry. Same condition. Here also last letter Y in the place of Y. Add IED. Next one, close. Here, the last letter is E. So, we add D only. Okay. Next one, stroke. Stroked. Same condition, last letter E. So, we shall add D only. Stroked. Okay. Next one, 6th to 12th. Try on your own. So, very easy. These are last letter is consonant. Just we add ED. Last letter already E given. You add D only. Last letter is Y. In the place of Y, add IED. Okay. That's all today's work, children. Write the grammar point of worksheet 7. Thank you.